meatballs with the heat from sriracha, but then glazed with garlic, ginger, and honey over some white rice. This is an absolute fantastic recipe. Let's jump into it. So back when I was working and Babe was meal prepping for me, she would make me these meatballs all the time. Sriracha, honey, ginger, garlic, glazed turkey meatballs. I use turkey meat, a little bit healthier. And then placed over a bed of white rice, a little bit more of the marinade in the rice. It's really, really, it's pretty healthy and it's a really, really good recipe, especially if you're looking for that kick from the sriracha, but then the sweetness from the garlic, ginger, and honey. So what our game plan is today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the meatballs. We're gonna throw the meatballs in the oven and while those are cooking for like 25-ish minutes, we're gonna make the marinade, the glaze for the balls and for the rice and then it's all gonna to come together. Honestly, if I wasn't filming and just knocking it out, I could do this in 30 minutes or less, but I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients. I'm gonna show you how to make this. I think you'll be really impressed. This is one of my favorite meatball recipes. So let me show you the ingredients and then we'll just jump into it. All right, let's go. All right, if you guys don't remember all this, look down in the description, I'll put the whole recipe below. But basically for the meatballs, that's two and a half pounds of ground turkey. I got some fresh ginger, I got some fresh garlic, I got two eggs from our chicken coop in the backyard. I'm gonna use this, that's sriracha's chili garlic, but it's sriracha with chili garlic. You can just use regular sriracha. We got our breadcrumbs, garlic powder, soy sauce, uh, sesame oil, salt, pepper, honey, rice vinegar. This is pretty much all the ingredients. It's not that super hard of a recipe. I foiled up a cookie sheet. I'm gonna cook my balls on that. And then I got a pan over there. This is super professional setup here. I got a pan over here. I'm gonna make my marinade and my glaze with that. And so yeah, this is just kind of how it is. Like I said, it's all down in the description below. Let's get started on making balls. That's what she said. <laughs> all right, first things first lightly greased, I use foil on there, and then we're going to bake. We are going to set our oven for 375. Start, we're gonna get that preheated 375. The balls are gonna go in at 375 for 25 minutes, depending on your oven, that's how we're gonna do it though. All right, we got our two and a half pounds of ground turkey and two eggs from our chicken coop, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and maybe the most important part, one cup of breadcrumbs. Some of my turkey's still a little bit cold, not all the way defrosted yet, but that's okay. The magic is really in the marinade and the glaze and the sauce that we're gonna make next once these get in the oven. As you can see, I made my balls a pretty healthy size. <laughs> Two and a half pounds yields 13, so. Not too shabby. Throw this in the oven, 375, 25-ish minutes. And now we make a glaze. What I'm gonna put down in the description is for one round of glaze. I'm a freak and I like a lot, so I'm doubling the recipe. So normally it calls for one quarter cup of sriracha or my chili garlic sriracha, but this is a half cup. So I'm doubling everything. So that is a half cup of the sriracha chili garlic. I'm gonna go in with six tablespoons of soy six tablespoons of rice vinegar. Now this is a little bit more difficult to measure because I need to do six tablespoons of honey. So one, two, three, four, five, come on honey, six. Now it's supposed to be a half a teaspoon, but I'm doing a full teaspoon of sesame oil. I love sesame oil. Now it's supposed to be about a tablespoon of ginger and I've experimented with a lot of things with ginger. In the freezer section, there's these little freezer cubes of ginger. I've used that. There's like ginger powders and stuff like that, but there's really no substitute for fresh. So I like to do this with the little microplane, get some ginger and do the garlic like this as well. It's kind of more of a hassle, but it really, really brings up the goodness. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna do the same thing with some peeled cloves of garlic. I like to do two, no, three or four cloves of garlic. I like a lot of garlic. I'm gonna get this on the stove and I'm gonna bring it to a boil and I'm gonna simmer it and I'm gonna reduce it down and that 
once that honey thickens up and everything like that, it's gonna make a really nice glaze. Now is the time in the video that I have to thank our tier two and our epic tier three channel members. Everybody that hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button on YouTube. If you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the social medias. Thank you guys so much for supporting Babe and my little YouTube social media hobby. All right, let's jump back into the video. I love these little Thermawork spatulas. So we're gonna bring this to a boil, then we'll reduce it and we'll simmer it while the meatballs are cooking. And the house is gonna about to be very fragrant and very awesome smelling. Got my bowl for tossing them. Let's see what we look like after 25 minutes. They actually, because they're so big, I'm probably gonna do another five to seven minutes at 375. They look like they need a little tiny bit more time. So I'm gonna go another five to seven minutes and we'll check back. All right, these just came out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool for a minute. You can see this thickened up quite a bit. So we're gonna get it in this bowl over there. We're gonna get these balls in that bowl with this sauce on top and we're gonna do some tossing. And then the rest of the sauce is just gonna go over our white rice. That's why I made a double batch of sauce because I love it so much. So let's just let those cool for a minute. We'll finish this video up. We'll reserve a little bit. Let's let these chill for a little while. Let's calm down in there. The smell is absolutely amazing. And if you want, you could always make these a lot smaller. I've had these so many times, I just know how I like them. A lot of people like smaller bowls, but yeah. So that's just gonna sit in that mix for a while. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be eating on this all week. So I got my balls. This is brand new steaming, piping hot rice. And what I'm gonna do so that I can just do serving sizes, I'm gonna just set these on top of here. And then as through the week, if I want some rice, if I want a meatball, whatever I want, I can just grab, dish out on a plate and then stick it back in the refrigerator. And this is what we used to do for meal prep. You just grab a couple, grab some rice, and you'd be set for the week. And you can still see I got a lot of sauce in here that I'm drowning them in, and then I'm gonna pour that extra sauce over them. So it really comes together as a nice little meal. Pretty healthy, very, very tasty. If you like a little bit of heat, you like a little bit of sweet, it just works out really, really well. And especially with the ground turkey, it's a little bit healthier for you. All right, I got my serving for right now. Let's put a little extra glaze on. And then I got my food for throughout the week. A little bit extra on. And there we go. I hope you guys give this a try. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite little dishes. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.